we are going to solve our home internet connection issue today starting right now hey guys from Nathaniel. welcome back to this channel so if you are new to this channel we provide a lot of step-by-step -step guides and pc components comparisons so make sure to subscribe to our channel so yeah back to this video as mentioned today we're just going to do a very simple upgrade to our home internet connection so a bit of backstory ever since i moved into this room with this guy i have been facing a few intermittent connection issues with my source signal which is currently from the router in the living room okay so basically we have Mio TV, the modem and router or provider like Singtel and my dad also bought a separate D-Link amplifier to tap on to the router to make sure that it goes throughout the house so I've been using that additional access point as my wireless connection access point but the issue was the amplifier has been placed in the wrong room it's been placed here so I think there was a gap between this amplifier and the signal from the router so what I've done was that I decided to move it to the opposite room which is much closer to the living room so yeah it has been much much better even though sometimes i still get some form of connection cut so anyway my dad decided to try out the singtel mesh system to see whether we can get a much better internet connection throughout the whole house so i'm currently living in a hdb so it's a four room flat we have three living quarters one kitchen and one living room this is the standard kind of housing for all singaporeans in singapore because i also watched linus video when he went to singapore to upgrade his relative's house we stay in a house where it's made from a lot of concrete so the signal from the router does get cut off sometimes because of thick concrete walls so yeah like having a mesh system will help to spread the signal more evenly throughout the house so anyway this is definitely not a sponsored post from Singtel so let's carry on with what Singtel has passed to us for this upgrade okay so this is the Singtel cat package let's see what's inside so first off we have the mesh router it's a very simple cardboard box we have the installation guide the router itself the power adapter and the RJ45 Ethernet cable so there's two ways one of them is that you can connect this router to your ONT your optical network terminal and after that you connect your MIUI TV setup box to this guy or the other way is if you have an optical network router which I don't connect both your setup box and this router to the optical network router I think I'll be opting for option one because we already have ONT and a router so I'd like to see whether the old router can work with the mesh system so that we don't need to use this if it doesn't then yeah we'll probably have to install this and do away with the old router and next we have these two mesh so this is the samsung smart wi-fi system 2.2 and my mo mesh systems you put these things at separate parts of the house tap on to your source signal from the mesh router so i've not decided where to put these things but first let's see what's inside one of this so yeah i removed the wrapper and now let's see what's inside this box so we have the quick start guide and we have the mesh itself so it requires power and it has input and output ethernet ports so i think this thing goes to your router it's interesting because it says it's a mesh so i have to see how it works because now i have two mesh i'm not so sure if i'm going to connect two to the router and how do you exactly send the signal out maybe we can use the different ethernet points in the house to connect to but i don't have that many ethernet points around the house so i have to see how it does so inside we also have another quick start guide so this is the cables for the router power adapter so yeah nothing too crazy everything is just quite feels like apple <laughs> so as mentioned now because you have two routers we need to decide like how do you want to do this i'll go look through the house and decide and i'll catch you back when we are done okay so we have fixed the singtel mesh system we are not using the mesh router provided by singtel because uh, we feel that the current router works just fine we have power and LAN going up from the router into the optical network terminal yeah and also the setup box for the Mio tv also goes to our optical network terminal the mesh system goes to the router and we also can see the antenna dish that we have for the digital tv to transmit the free to air channel such as channel 5 or channel 8 from middlecom so this is the setup so as you can see right now we have two access points which is the Tamel 2.0.0.5.2.2 and the original one which is the Singtel A258 so Singtel A258 is the original access point that we have when we first installed this internet service 
I think it works the same because the Samuel access point is basically an extension from the Samsung mesh, which is stepped from the Singtel 8 So I like to see if I'm able to access both Singtel 8 and 10 mail at the same time, and both of them give the same amount of internet connection strength. So all right, so I'm running through the new setup and the two access points that I currently see on my PC. So I'm going to show you how it fares, the upload and download speeds for these two access points in my room. I'll also be showing for good measure how it compares against using a local area network or LAN network through an Ethernet cable. So let's go on the first scenario, which is the Singtel 8258 access point. So you can see it's 7.59 and 6.93 respectively for up and down speeds. Not the best considering that we are using fiber optic cable in the living room. We should be getting at least 100 or 200 Mbps. So seven and six are definitely not very good and this is definitely not the best solution in the long term. And in addition also, sometimes we're getting a low strength for this Singtel 8258. I may get five bars or four bars of strength sometimes, but this does not necessarily mean that I'll be getting the full strength. And what may even happen is that the access point will disappear Sometimes. So it means that it's not connected to the router in the living room. Okay, let's go on to scenario two, which I think fares a lot better. You can see from numbers already. We're getting 38 and 36 for download upload speeds respectively. So it's definitely much better compared to the first scenario. It's at least five times the upload download speed as compared to the Singtel 825 access point. So yeah, this is really seem like a much better solution, even though yeah, I'm supposed to get very good numbers, like as I mentioned, 100, 200. I think 38 and 36 is definitely more respectable compared to seven and six in the previous scenario. So I may still continue to use this, but I will still face the same problem as the Singtel 8258. Everyone's still working from home, so sometimes in the afternoon and the morning or late afternoon periods where it's peak hour, everyone's working from home. I believe that it may cause a heavy load in Singtel's infrastructure. Everyone's using the same time, so yeah, sometimes I may get a loss in these access points because it's too crowded. It definitely has a much better Wi-Fi strength compared to the Singtel 8258, but I think that could be a much better solution. So what I discovered is maybe I should be using the Singtel Wi-Fi map router instead of regular router have in the living room. So I may give it a try and see how it goes from there. All right, just for a simple stopgap measure, I'm currently using a LAN cable for the by cordon. So it's a one gigabit per second LAN cable. Yeah, you think that it's coming directly from the internet socket from the wall and it goes straight to my computer. I think I should be getting a full one gigabit per second, but I only get close to 100 Mbps for my upper down speed. So <laughs> I have no idea why am I limited by some bandwidth from the ISP or maybe this access point doesn't give the full strength even though it's supposed to give 1 Gbps so if you guys know why maybe you can let me know in the comment sections below I'm not the expert when it comes to internet connection so if you guys know let me know how I will alternate between the internet cable and the 10 mil access point during peak hours I will use internet cable and maybe when the off peak I will try to use wireless of course wireless looks much better on a set we do have too much cables running around but if the internet connection is not as good I think the wired connection will take priority over the wireless connection so this is the how to upgrade your internet connection using Singtel or home Wi-Fi. Like I mentioned, I'm not the expert when it comes to internet connection. But yeah, so I hope that even though with this very simple video on what we're going to get and how to upgrade your Wi-Fi, you may consider to upgrade your Wi-Fi if you're facing the same problem as I. Or if you are using Singtel and you may want to try their mesh system. Yeah, as I mentioned, I will probably give the Singtel mesh router a chance. Even though when I call support, a guy over the line said that I don't have to use the new router. I could still be using the old router, but maybe he could be wrong or it's just that it's better to use the new router instead of the old router. So what is theorized is that the new router would be the main source and the two Samsung smart meshes could be placed around the house. Definitely really sounds a much better solution because right now one of the Samsung meshes is used as a master and the other one is used as a slave. So the mesh router could be used as a master. We can have two slaves running in the house instead of one slave. I think that will enhance the wireless connection around the house. So I'll give that a try and let you guys know how that Thanks. If you left any comments on how I should improve my home Wi-Fi, let me know in the comment sections below. I will definitely get back to you. In the meantime, I also recommend my other videos. A suitable view in conjunction with your Wi-Fi for streaming and your Zoom needs to check out this video, which is the $900 view. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Yeah, remember to click on the i icon to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to know when I put up new videos. So bye.